this is Batman. You're watching Kyle Reviewed. Hey guys, just finished watching Batwoman, season one, episode three, down, down, down. Um, this episode was okay. I mean, it's just the show was kind of boring. Uh, I mean, the, the, I mean, the, 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 it's kind of interesting dealing with Batwoman and Alice, you know, being her, her father, her, um, you know, being sisters and all that stuff, and that kind of Alice is really good in this show. She's like the best part of the show, but that's the only good part is the kind of the way things are going with that. Um, but she's not like a memorable character. Like it's the best part of the show so far, which is not saying much. Not that saying that she's you know terrible or anything, but she's the only good part of it, and it's only like good, not great, amazing. It's just only a good. Um, it really kind of out of all the DC TV villains and all that stuff, she kind of just falls into just an average one in in, in out of all those villains. Um, Ruby Rose, I, she just can't. There's even times where she has to fake uh, emotions as the character to not let on that, you know, she's Batwoman and things like that. And that's just kind of terrible. It doesn't really go anywhere. So it's just kind of, you know, her acting's not really working. The whole Batman uh, aspect thing to do with Bruce Wayne doesn't really work. I mean, they have at one point someone breaks into one of Batman's secret caches where he hides his weapons. And, you know, someone just breaks into that and only steals one thing. So all of a sudden, everyone, the cops find out all this stuff that's, like, connected to Bruce Wayne. And they don't go, hmm, how, all these weapons in here, they look like Batman weapons. I wonder if Batman is Bruce Wayne. They never put two and two together. Um, so that's just kind of stupid. Um, the fact that he would leave and, like, he's clearly has been gone for a while. And he doesn't have a fail safe in to take all these caches and kind of destroy them, burn them you know, take these caches and just fill them up with cement and, and have them tombed away, you know? It just makes no sense that if Bruce Wayne would be gone, go there doing his own stuff, he wouldn't leave the Batcave so that she could find it, find it or so she could just stumble upon it. Um, he wouldn't leave these weapons out there so that, he, so that people could just stumble upon them um, or find out about them and break into them. That that just doesn't, like, makes no sense. Uh, you know, he would have had the door taken out and filled the wall in so that it looks like there's nothing there. And if he needs to, when he gets back, he can just cut the door back out again. That would be not very easy for him to do. And why would he not have done that, you know? Um, that just makes no sense to me. It's the way the whole Bruce Wayne part of it. Now, seeing Tommy Elliot, he was kind of okay. Uh, the actor playing with him was just kind of meh. But uh, it was just kind of the idea of Tommy Elliot seems interesting. But they just feel like they used their hand right away um, with him. But then again... You know these characters that in the comic books were built out. It's he's kind of an iconic character from the from the Batman myth. It's in his super popular storyline. So trying to do the reveal would have been a bit kind of obvious if they would have gone through that route because anyone could just you just Google Tommy Elliot and you eventually you'll just see Hush, right? Um, even someone who's not trying to figure out as to what uh, about the character or anything like that, they you the Hush would just come up as soon as you write Tommy Elliot in Google, right? So that's just kind of that that reveal is not there. So that's good. They didn't play with that. Um, the whole relationship issues with um, his with Sophie and Sophie didn't tell her 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 husband that she used to be into Kate and all that stuff. That's just like oh terrible C it's ter terrible Batwoman, uh, terrible CW relationships and stuff. Um, I do would like to see at some point Ruby Rose, uh, Kate Kane maybe hooking up with like uh, Sarah Lance from uh, on Ledger of Tomorrow. That'd be hilarious if they at some point just kind of hook up with one of each other, especially in the middle of crisis if there's doubt there's gonna be any downtime but if there is um you know it'd be really hilarious to see to see those two hook up just like we got in was it last year's or last year's crossover where we got sarah lance and alex from supergirl hooking up that'd be something really cool there um or maybe alex uh could hook up but alex is actually in a relationship right now if i'm not mistaken and on supergirl so we'll have to wait and see as the work he's got to go with this show i'm not really liking it like the the the, the, the fights and stuff are just kind of okay, generic stuff. Um, they're not really kind of standing out or anything like that. They're kind of just normal. Um, this show is just getting kind of really boring and just the, the, the production quality is just terrible. And also it's the fact, the big thing that these shows, these CW shows, they focus on is the drama of the characters because they're a soap opera channel and that's what they do. They don't have the budget for, you know, to compete with anything. So I don't know how this, in a day and age where we're going to have TV shows uh, superhero TV shows with budgets of $25 million per episode. How is this going to stay on there? At that point, this is going to get forgotten about and people are going to put more attention to the stuff that has more money. I know they're not trying to compete with that market, but they're going to have to because superhero genres is getting full and you know, at some point, uh, there's going to be shows where you just can't watch. You either choose this show 
or the expensive show? Which one are you going to watch? You know, uh, this kind of stilted acting, cheap, low budget thing that seems like a high budget student film, <laughs> you know, quality or, you know, $25 million per episode. I know which one I'm going to pick. So let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. What do you think about this episode? Uh, what do you think about how things are going on? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hi, this is Kevin Conroy talking to you from the library of Wayne Manor. You may know me as Batman. I just want you to know that you're watching Kyle Reviewed. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman.